I hope my yoga music isn't doesn't copyright strike me. But I have had a hard week. I have a mask on. This is my clay mask. You're probably like, why does your face look like you stepped in swamp ass? Um, but my brother just left town. I love family, but sometimes it drains your energy. And I didn't have any energy left from last week. Um, a lot of traveling and lack of doing some of the work I needed to do just has caught up with me. And I'm really scared. Being a business owner is the hardest decision I've ever made. And I knew when I decided to grow that it meant uh, like investing, not investing a thousand dollars every month, but investing 10,000 and then a hundred thousand and zeros just keep getting added on to everything. And the stress of that is excruciating. And if I don't bring what I need to bring to the table, it affects everybody around me. And the last time I felt like this was when I bought my first house. I had two mortgages and I was paying my mom's mortgage. And then we moved in and it was like, I had to pay a landscaper, I had to get house insurance, and it was like, it just didn't stop. Like what I thought would be 2000 in expenses every month for the nice things I had turned into like 5000 6000 And when you aren't bringing that amount of money in on your paycheck, you, you know, your assets grow, but you become really cash poor. And I've had financial insecurity my whole life. And it comes and it goes. Um, but it's a really fucked up thing because obviously money doesn't really equal joy. But why, why the lack of it is suffocating me. And not personally, but for my business. And, but failure isn't an option necessarily, but I'm just killing myself every day, every day. And the second I take a break, it just piles up more. And I'm so grateful for the help and people I've hired but the more I hire the more it grows and the more the workload grows so it's just a bittersweet thing but my birthday's coming and I have nothing planned I can't afford to do anything which is fine I've done more on an empty tank than most do on a full tank but the holidays are really bittersweet because everyone around me gets to go see their family and eat and have fun and I have to work. <laughs> and one side of my family, the bigger side, they're doing this big extravagant thing and I was really hoping that I could come the day before because I wouldn't be able to make it the day of. And they, they said that they couldn't really accommodate that. <laughs> and it's just, this is the reality of my life. But I <clears throat> don't want to sound ungrateful. I just haven't had a, a real like breakdown like this in a while. And it's just part of it. It's just part of it. I used to have one of these like every week. 
you know i'd be so scared about sales during the week and then the weekend would come and everything would be balanced out but october comes and it's like people aren't buying people are getting ready for halloween you know whatever they're doing <laughs> whatever people do in libra season <laughs> but then november comes and quarter four hits and it's finally things even out again but it's like the last week of october that is just ex like i can't even sleep at night i'm such a realistic person when it comes to things in business particularly i'm a lot more hopeful and joyous in my personal life but i think about all the terrible things that could happen and you know i've never had a business loan before i've never taken money from my business from anyone except myself and now having these huge investments for my business it's very normal for business owners to get business loans when you start a business you get a business loan and i had an interview last week about one that didn't go as i hoped and i'm gonna try again this week to go to a different bank but it just makes me feel so low and incompetent and I just don't want to be I don't ever want to be in debt and I'm trying to like find the realism in this because a lot of businesses have debt in order to grow and it's very normal it's just too much right now Leo. I'd kiss you, but I don't want you to lick my mask. Sir. Mommy's talking to her friends. I'll be fine. I'm always fine, but this is just the truth. Life is smiles and cries right and tomorrow we're gonna try to smile in front of everybody and just all we can do is our best right <laughs> i guess it's time for me to shower off this energy <sighs> thanks for listening